What's cracking, guys? Omar Isaf here, back with another video. In this video today, it's another talkie video. We upload it on the weekend. This is where I just sit down on a bench. First, I'm gonna review the bench because I'm slowly transitioning this channel to a park bench enthusiast channel from a fitness channel. Overall, I'd say this is my third one doing this. This is a double wide one. Seats about six people. Fun fact, this is actually the first school I ever went to. If you could tell from this shot what school this is, comment in the comment section below and I'll hook you up with a free program from Kaizen Training. Anyways, this wasn't here when I was here. We grew up rough. We didn't have benches. We had rocks, sticks, stones. Ah, feels pretty sturdy. It's a little bit wet. Has a musk. Five out of ten. Anyways, the actual video, what I want to talk about in today's video, FOMO, fear of missing out as it relates to social media and how we're really way too attached, I mean way too attached to our phones, to events going on, what we perceive to be us missing out on something else out there that exists that's better than what we're currently doing. We have to go to an event, we have to be something, we have to do something because we feel that it will be better than what we're currently doing. And this is a misconception. I am someone, you know, you know the name Rascal, you see Peach Boys, I wear a lot of spandex, compression pants. I don't really give a fuck. So I've never personally conformed to things, but I see this too often. And I'd say in ways that's a pro and con of this channel in that I do the content that I want to do, the information I want to put out. It's different than other channels. And that's both a good and bad thing where sometimes I don't pay attention to other trends. You know, I still haven't shown you guys my watch collection, my extensive watch collection, I might add. But fear of missing out is a very real thing where people feel that wherever they are, currently they could be somewhere else or there might be an event so there might be a party that you should be going to there might be a school you should be going to there might be some sort of event some sort of activity maybe let's say a fitness activity where personally for you you love to do bodybuilding like bodybuilding is your passion you see those old school golden age bodybuilders like Frank Zane uh, Arnold you love that but you see oh like parallel things kind of big it's trending right now it seems uh, maybe cool maybe I'm missing out on something that fear of missing out that anxiety and reality I think social media once again has made that worse where we're attached to our phone we see these over glamorized depictions of people's lives that are nowhere near the actuality of what they're going through. So we see these perfect photos. I got news for you. These people on Instagram, either the girls or the guys, where they have that popping booty, they have that popping shot, they don't look like that in reality. The event that they went to, it wasn't nearly as good as they say it was. You know, It's like that Just Rain uh, Snapchat where he was talking about parties where people reflect on them. They're never as good usually as what people say they were. It's more that idea, that fear of missing out. Oh, this thing looked really good. And so social media makes certain things things look better than they actually are. So it pulls you towards that direction. But ultimately, which is one of the narratives or one of the main focal points of this channel, you need to do what you want to do. And sometimes it takes a little bit to discover that. For me, once again, I get back to that point. I see my boy, shout out to Silent Mike. He's doing weightlifting. Uh, it's something I want to do. Am I going to be good at it? And sometimes there's a difference between being good at something and then doing what actually you should be doing. So for me personally, I like to do weightlifting. Will I be good at it? Who knows? But I'm still going to do it because it's something I'm passionate about. Fear of missing out, this FOMO extends far beyond just fitness. We think about goals that people have. We think about maybe the uh, societal pressure that people feel when it comes to cutting, right? Where they feel, you know what? I want to get abs because I get abs. I think I'm going to get girls. I'm going to feel better about myself. But maybe for you, bro, you're just one of those bulking bodies. Maybe you just want to be 220 and set records. Take a look at the IPF this year at the 105 kilo class. Uh, some of the lifters there, it's like, man, they put on some size. They, put, they have insane strength. They also have a little bit of fat mass. Who gives a shit? They're strong as hell. If that is you, if that is what you want to do, do it. So this imaginary fear, I think, is made a hell of a lot worse by social media, by the depictions that we see, where we always feel that wherever we are isn't currently good enough, right? What we're doing, because again, we see this idealized portrait of reality, we think, man, it's so much better, right? These people, they look so much better. Little do we know all the Photoshop, all the perfect angles, how many photos they take just to take that one photo of their life. It's not real, it's not reality. So you need a little bit more of that fucking attitude, right? Where you just don't give a shit and uh, you think to yourself, what do I ultimately wanna do? What makes me personally happy? Where do I see myself? And then do it. 
I committed to the professional toner life from a very early age, and I ain't gonna stop. Okay, so I did, uh, you know, I did a little bit of strength training. I built up a solid base. I'm gonna be hitting some massive PRs on that. I do still plan on competing in weightlifting for those that are interested. July 28th is gonna have an epic collab and a lot of reveals. Just stay tuned on that, but follow what you wanna do, bro. If you wanna wear, you know, a bandana, go for it. If you wanna wear sunglasses at night as the sun is setting, go for it. Do your thing as long as it doesn't harm anyone else and it ultimately is something you're really passionate about. Do it. Anyways. That's all I really want to say. I do feel that on Instagram. I see that pressure by people also to live up to this imaginary lifestyle that they don't have. They're nowhere close to living that lifestyle where they'll either you know, be super motivational all the time. I'm like, that's not you. That's not reality. That's not how you operate 24-7. You got to be a little bit more real. So that fear of missing out, don't you worry about it. Tune in next week when we're going to review those benches behind us. Thank you so much for watching this video. Listen to me. If you like this video, if you like these talky videos, like the damn video, let's get this, I'd say this video to over 4,000 likes. We'll make another sequel. We'll turn this into a series. You sit down, you enjoy yourself. Thank you so much for watching the video. I'll be seeing all you guys, my rascals, in that next video. Peace. Eat your vegetables, eat your vegetables, eat your fucking vegetables.